Marjorie Taylor Greene has decided to attack Senate Republicans who actually voted in favor of advancing the nomination of Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. She was nominated by Joe Biden for the Supreme Court. And it turns out that Lisa Murkowski, Susan Collins, and Mitt Romney voted in favor of advancing her nomination. She's very likely to be confirmed as the newest Supreme Court justice by the end of the week. Now, Marjorie Taylor Greene has decided to use a tried and true method of smearing these Republicans as pedophile supporters. So let's take a look at what her tweet said. And remember, this is a woman who is good friends with Matt Gates, who is under investigation by the DOJ for possibly having sex with a minor and paying for her travel across states. Now, Marjorie Green says Murkowski, Collins and Romney are pro pedophile. They just voted for KBJ. Again. We're talking about a woman who has nothing to say about what Matt Gates is being investigated for. But the pedophile smear is just the perfect tactic for right wingers, both politicians and voters who want to go after someone they don't like. And this is exactly what she's doing here. And she's going after Republicans. So there's no limits, there's no rules anymore, there's no nothing on the Republican side. It's total open warfare against everyone. So, and, and, but look, normally the saying goes, two can play at that game, but not in America. Democrats can't play at that game at all. Democrats are always saying, "Oh, it's so hurtful. We're so offended." Boo! -hoo -hoo. Like uh, Cory Booker about uh, Judge Jackson. He he's in response to all of this. He was like, "You know, this really hurts, and it's very hurtful." No, Cory, you're not supposed to cry in politics. You're supposed to punch them back and have them cry and talk about how Cory Booker is hurting their feelings. Okay, no, but Democrats cannot play at that game, so I'll do it for them. Okay, Marjorie Taylor Greene is constantly doing events with Matt Gates. Matt Gates is accused of having sex with underage children. So I guess that makes Marjorie Taylor Greene pro pedophile. And she did that with an actual person charged with actually having sex with someone who's underage and after he was accused of that. And she went on a tour with him. So she's on a pro pedophilia tour. Okay, that's Matt Gates, but that's not all. The Republican Party's littered with pedophiles. Remember their for, former House Speaker, Dennis Hastert, got busted and convicted of molesting young boys. That's who Republicans are. They have no morality, they have no decency at all. Those are facts. Jim Jordan, current Republican. Uh, accused of knowing about child molestation as he was a coach, a wrestling coach uh, that another coach was doing, and he didn't do anything about it. All the former students said, "Oh yeah, Coach Jordan, he knew, he knew, and I guess he didn't mind because he's pro pedophilia. And Marjorie Taylor Greene has no problems with Jim Jordan because she's pro pedophilia. But one last one, they're big daddy. Trump, I'm gonna say it every time now. Trump said about Jeffrey Epstein, the worst child pedophile in American history, that he was, quote, a terrific guy. And he said mm -hmm. about him once, he's a lot of fun to be with. It's even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do. And many of them are on the younger side. So when did Trump know that Epstein was a pedophile? When did he know it? And why didn't he say anything to the authorities? Instead, he bragged about what his Friend, the pedophile used to do with young girls. He bragged about it. Marjorie I mean, Taylor Greene, you support Donald Trump. There is no question factually that you are pro pedophile based on your record of support for people who clearly either engaged in pedophilia or rhetorically proudly boasted about their pedophile friends. Those are facts. Marjorie Taylor Greene, I'm sick of the Republicans doing smears without anybody fighting back with actual facts. Yeah, and not to add like another 10 minutes to this conversation because it's so abundantly clear that she's full of crap. But remember, Trump also during a press conference following the arrest of Ghislaine Maxwell, who groomed teens and found young women to be essentially raped by Jeffrey Epstein. Trump wished her well at a press conference. I wish her well. 
okay, that's that's their guy. That's the person that Marjorie Taylor Greene and uh, the Republican Party overall supports. So look, I remember all of these Republican lawmakers who were later outed as gay, which I have no problem with. But the ones who were later outed as gay tended to be the ones who spoke the loudest against the gay community. And it's just really interesting to see the projection taking place right now among the Republican Party as they smear others as being pedophiles. The ones who use that phrase, that word the most, just pay close attention to the company that they choose to keep. Yeah, uh, that's so, all I'm saying. Yeah, and I'll add just one last thing. For all the QAnon people, is it possible that the Republicans tricked you into bashing the wrong party? Knowing that their leader celebrated pedophilia, and even on TV when he was president, when the it, Ghislaine Maxwell, along with Epstein, the worst child molesters in American history, he said he wished her well. And then they accuse the Democrats to throw you off the scent. When it's the, the fact that Republicans are pedophiles, not all of them, but their top leadership, Speaker of the House. Head of the Conservative Freedom Caucus, the president himself, one of the leaders in Matt Gates. Well, if they wanted to keep doing pedophilia QAnon followers, what would they do? They would have you attack the wrong people while they're doing it out and open. So think about it, okay? I'm just asking you to think about it. And then you tell me why you support all those people who are clearly and obviously pro pedophilia. Wait a minute, if you're part of QAnon, are you pro pedophilia? Because if you support these monsters, it certainly seems that way. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.